These are just massive all-terrain vehicles meant to keep police safe during dangerous standoffs. And tonight, we got a first-hand look at all the bells and whistles. Unfortunately, it seems like situations with barricaded people have become more common. But with these armored trucks, police say they are ready, and they gave Mike LaCrosse a tour in Carver. This is sound like SWAT team. Awesome. The SWAT team has been deployed several times within the last few months. In May, the team moved in on a home in Middleborough where a man was armed and barricaded. He was later found dead. We use these vehicles after there is a certain evaluation process that takes place. Semlick, which is part of the Southeastern Massachusetts Law Enforcement Council, utilizes several pieces of heavy equipment, including the mobile command unit. So really what the mobile command vehicle does is it provides us with that one central point of communication. But then there's the more eye-catching Jet Black Bearcat. It's an armored truck based off a Ford F-550 that allows teams to get close to a home or building. We're right here. We unpin these and if we need to, we attach it to the front and we use that as a ram. A smaller armored Caterpillar vehicle called the Rook has several attachments and is able to move into tight spaces. This piece we have here is basically a uh, bullet resistant wall that they can stay behind. One of the advantages of the Rook is it allows officers to get close to a home, but it also allows them to get higher like we're going now to assess the situation from the second level. Carver's police chief says these vehicles aren't military tanks, don't fire any rounds, and simply protect their officers. Because at the end of the day, we don't want to have another Sean Gannon or, or another incident where we lose a police officer. Reporting from Carver, Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.